a free version of the very cool Mixbox CS plugin suite for your iPad has just been released. So in this video, we're gonna take a look. Let's go. Mixbox CS is like a virtual effects rack for your iPad. In fact, I've got a deep dive video up the top and down in the description if you wanna check it out. But if that 30 or $40 price tag has always put you off, well, we've got some good news for you because they've just released a cut down version. You get eight of the 72 plugins in this version of Mixbox CS, but here's the good news, you get it for free. Let's take a look. So if you're brand new to Mixbox CS, here's what it is. It's an AUV3 audio unit plugin for your iPad. So you can use it here in GarageBand or Cubasis or any other digital audio workstation. It's got eight different slots here for different effects and you can use it multiple times depending on how much processing power and which DAW you're using. To download Mixbox CS, jump over to the App Store, tap on Mixbox CS here. There's a link in the description as well. Hit the get button and you'll have the eight effects that are free. Now you can use the in-app purchase then to buy all the other effects and get all the way up to all 72 effects. And once again, if you want to see all of those in action, check out the video in the description. Once you've installed Mixbox Box CS, you can use it in any of your music apps on your iPad, including the free GarageBand. So here I've got a track here. I've got a couple of guitars here. If I tap on the mixer icon here, I go to plugins and EQ. I can hit the edit button here and hit the plus button over here. And over here in audio unit extensions, I can drop that down, scroll on down, hit the mix box button here, and boom, there it is. Mix box CS is here and ready to go. Now on the iPad, to get the full version, the full view, tap Tap on this button here and that'll expand it out and you're ready to start adding effects. So to add an effect here in Mixbox, we tap on the first slot here and if we come down to amps, you'll see we've got the flexi amp. If we tap on that one, we can start dialing in the flexi amp. If we come across to number two and go down to channel strip, you can see that we can start adding the others. Now there's eight different ones that we have here in the free version. We'll go through each of them in this video and they're also listed down in the description if you want to check them out. Let's put Mixbox to the test. I've got my GarageBand project here and here is a guitar track. It sounds like this. So I'm already using the built-in GarageBand guitar amp simulator. So just so that we've got a fresh, clean slate, why don't we come down here and hit the plus button and just set up a brand new clean track. So we're gonna go more sounds, we're gonna go fun, and we're going to go clean. And this is gonna give us a regular clean track. Now what we need to do is bring that guitar audio over and pop it in this clean audio track. And uh, then we'll start adding some mix box effects and we'll see what this does. So there you go, we've copied and pasted it and now it sounds like this. Need some help yet? Yeah. Well, that's what Mixbox is here for. So let's add Mixbox to this. We'll tap on the plugins icon here, go to plugins and EQ, hit the edit button, and we can actually add it in here. In fact, you'll notice here, we've got three slots. We could in fact add three different instances of Mixbox CS. Keep in mind that every time you use a different plugin, you are gonna use some of the resources of your iPad. So if you've got an older iPad, you may find it gets a little bit sluggish. So we've added Mixbox CS here. We can tap on this icon icon and now we're ready to start adding in different effects. The easiest way to get started with Mixbox is to use your global preset. So if we tap in the box down the bottom here, we get all of these. Now we've got a guitar track, so we'll tap guitar. We've only got a couple here because again, we've only got those eight plugins, but we'll tap on gain stage and check this out. It adds in the flexi amp, the chorus and the channel strip and pre-dials in a whole bunch of presets. Let's take a listen to what this guitar sounds like. Pretty cool, yeah? So what we can do now though is add in additional plugins because remember, we've got eight slots here and we can even add multiple instances. So let's just say we wanted to add another plugin. How do we do that? Well, we just tap in the top here and select which one we want. This time, why don't we add a delay? So let's throw a digital delay on here now. And again, we can dial in just using all the different dials here. Or the other cool thing is we can use the presets for this particular plugin. To go to those, we tap in the bottom left here and and now you'll notice that under each individual effect, we've got a box there. If we tap on this one, let's take a look at this one. Why don't we go with the slow echo here on this delay plugin. Now, let's take a listen to this guitar sound. Yep. 
you can hear that delay there. And if you want to hear just one plug-in to turn off the others, we tap on these yellow buttons and the other ones will go off here. Let's just listen to it with just this delay on here. Pretty cool, yeah. And you've got all the controls here in the world. You can dial in whatever you want, or you can come down to the bottom here and select a different one. Let's go with the ambient stereo here and see what that sounds like. That's pretty cool. Let's turn the rest of our plugins on here and hit play. Now we're talking, that's the sort of guitar tone I'm looking for. So you can see the power of Mixbox CS, even this free version. Now, as you add plugins, you might notice that you get too much gain going through, but don't worry, you've got two different options here. You've got your input gain slider over here on the left, and you've got your output gain over here on the right. You've also got an individual mixer here for each of your different effects, and you can even jump in and solo each effect there. You can turn the whole thing off and back on again as well, and as we showed before, you can turn on and off each individual effect. So you've got complete control over everything, and when we play, take a look at this you'll see the input and the output meters here and you can dial in your gain to make sure that your mix is sitting right Very cool to have that level of control right here in the plugin. Now that's all cool, yeah, but what exactly do you get? What are the eight plugins? Well, let's take a look at them one by one, but this time, why don't we use a vocal track here? So here is the vocal for this particular song. At the moment, it sounds like this. Hesitation and fear of change. Now we've already got a bunch of compressors and plugins here, so to make this fair, let's remove all of those. And here's what the raw sound is like. I paralyzed you and made you doubt your So let's see what Mixbox CS can do with this and we're going to add all eight of these plugins. Let's go. So once again to do this we hit the mixer icon here, we hit plugins and EQ, we hit the edit button and we've got a spare slot so we'll just throw it here and here's the cool thing, it's only going to use one slot here in your DAW. We'll come on down, we'll hit mix box so we can tap on this and we can add all eight of these free plugins right here in this one track just using one plug-in slot in GarageBand. Let's go one by one. We'll tap here and we'll go to our amp. Let's put the Flexi amp on here. Now, is this going to work really well? Well, maybe not. Let's go to our individual plugins here. And uh, do we have anything here? No, these are really more for our guitars. But let's just put warm and full on here and see what this does to our vocal. And fear of change. Yeah, it might not be what we're looking for, but we'll go with it anyway. Let's go to the next one here, and we're going to go to the channel strip. Now, this is your EQ, so we can dial in a bunch of EQ settings. And again, in this one, we're not going to go into all the detail here. There are more videos down below, but if we just use a preset again, let's come in here and go with some vocal warmth, shall we? What do we get from this one? I paralyze you. Definitely a bit more warmth there. We're going to go to the next one here and we're going to select number three. Why don't we go a delay this time? We'll put a digital delay on here and we'll go again to our plugins. And why don't we get a bit of a, have we got a slap back kind of delay here? Maybe not. What if we go with a, sh uh, a short doubler? What's this going to do for us? A major doubt yourself. Yeah, we're getting a bit bassy here, so this is going to be the problem, but I just wanted to show you each of the ones we have here. We've got distortion. <gasps> Do we put a little bit of distortion on here? This is our old classic DS1 style distortion. This could make things interesting. Uh, why don't we go push the vocals on this one? Better put the volume down on my mixer because this could get interesting. Let's hit play. Yeah, no way. Uh, and you can see there that our output is already hitting that red. So this is where you need to start playing around with your input and your output gain. Yeah, right. So uh, we might actually leave the distortion off, but you know what a distortion does. All right, let's slide across here because we can grab number five and uh, we'll find this one. It's our limiter. So a limiter is very handy and this, this could be worth the price of admission. Remember that price of admission is $0. So just having a, a limiter in here is pretty good. So let's go with a uh, an add warmth limiter here on our vocals and see what we got. Cultivation. 
of new ideas. Yeah, it's getting a little bit full on there, isn't it? Why don't we come back here and we'll uh, we'll remove the amp and the channel strip just so that we can hear what these last few are going to do. Otherwise, uh, I don't think we'll hear them. So number six, if we come down here, now we don't have any of our EQs on here. If you want an EQ for GarageBand or for iOS, LRC5 or LRC7 is my recommendation. Uh, filter Phaser is another one that we've got here. Let's go back to the very start and take a listen to this Filter Phaser on the vocal. Fear of change, a paralyzed... Now I've realized we didn't actually set a preset. So let's come to our preset. And why don't we go with, uh, what should we go with? Some, uh, what is Subtle Vox going to do for us here? You That's kind of cool. A major doubt yeah, so it's just adding a little bit of uh, a little bit of fuzz and distortion there. All right, let's continue on here. Modulation, we've got a chorus, which I think we already used before, but we can add this in here. That's very cool. And yeah, again, you've got your dry, wet knob. You've got everything going on there. You can select a preset here. We'll go with the uh, more large, shall we? And last but not least, effect number eight. If we come all the way down here, we've got a digital reverb that we can add in here. And let's make this one a, uh, a per oh, no, percussion. Um, vocal absence. Let's try this one here. We'll come back to the start and uh, play this one again. Yeah. Sounds like when I used to record vocals in my bathroom with a four track. But you can see the power of this stuff here. You don't have to use all of these on everything. That was actually overkill and not something I'd advise. But the ability to have input gain, output gain, and up to eight different plugins all within. Remember, we're in one plugin slot here in GarageBand. It's pretty cool. And don't forget the price tag on this one. Zero dollars, zero euros, zero great British pounds. I think you should check out Mixbox CS. If you do want to check out the full version, don't forget I've got a complete review and a whole hour-long deep dive down in the description that you can check out as well. Take a look at Mixbox CS. I think you're going to love it.